Welcome to all NFL fans. We request you to please like this video and subscribe our channel so you will be updated with all NFL news. It took a while, but Isaac Sumalo finally has a new home. Sumalo, one of only a handful of players remaining from the 2016 Eagles, signed a three-year contract with the Steelers, according to NFL reporter Jordan Schultz. The Eagles were never involved in talks with Sumalo, who started 60 games for the Eagles and is one of only seven players to play in both the 2017 and 2022 Super Bowls. When healthy, Sumalo is a very good player, but injuries derailed his 2020 and 2021 seasons, when he was limited to a total of just 12 games. He bounced back to start all 20 games this year and played at a very high level. With the Eagles 2022 second round pick Cam Jurgens waiting in the wings to take over at either center or right guard, depending on what Jason Kels did along with Sumbolo's anticipated large contract and the Eagles cap issues, there was never a chance Sumbolo would be back for an eighth year with the Eagles. Bassey, who is still only 24, was one of the Broncos' most pleasant surprises in 2020 as he not only made the season opening roster as an undrafted rookie from Wake Forest, he soon became their number one nickelback. His fine season came to an unfortunate halt, however, during an early December game at Kansas City's Arrowhead Stadium when he collapsed in the end zone with a torn ACL. Because the injury occurred so late in the 2020 season, he missed almost all of 2021 before getting in for 11 defensive snaps in the second-to-last game. While Bassey was recovering in 2021, he became involved in a waiver claim tug-of-war between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Broncos as Chargers defensive coordinator Ronaldo Hill was the Broncos' defensive backs coach in 2020. The Chargers finally surrendered and Bassey bounced back with the Broncos last year to play in 14 games, including 21% of the defensive snaps as a number four cornerback up nickel to Kwan Williams and regular special teamer. Bassey follows backup safety PJ Locke as Broncos' non-tendered restricted free agents who returned to the team.